A while ago I took a look at the super simple version of these uh, voltage testers which just basically gave a yes or no and it was just two red LEDs. Very simple. And I, I also mentioned that I'd ordered a 3-in-1 and it hadn't arrived and it, indeed it didn't arrive but uh, the <coughs> supplier uh, refunded that and I just ordered another one from a different supplier and this did arrive quite quickly. And it's crap. It's so disappointing because all the circuitry is here and there are just a few little things that let it down really badly. For a start, if I stick this into this uh, death adapter here just to defeat the safety shutter of the plug, then you'll see that two of those little neons are lighting. They're even under the camera lights that they're quite bright, you know, and they would be very bright uh, if it wasn't for the fact that the label in the front here, let, let's peel the label off in fact and show you what's underneath. Little, tiny little channels under these large areas here, most of which are just filled in with plastic because of poor moulding um, and it's just poor production and if they'd taken a wee bit more effort then these would have lit a lot more brightly. They also, un unlike the other ones, they don't have little sections, little sort of light box thing and the neons have also been skewed up at an angle. I think that's just so they fit in. It's, it, you know, the circuitry is here, it's just the quality of manufacture is not up to scratch. And it means that you can still see the neon glowing through these, but it, only a tiny little bit at the corner. It just looked odd, that's why I opened it. And I have to say, I was quite destructive opening it. Uh, that's why there's, this uh, is not soldered onto the end here, it's soldered down onto a pad, because I managed to rip this lead off the printed circuit board, but that was my fault entirely. However, here's the schematic of it. You've got the probe, uh, and then you've got three neons in series, with two of them have a resistor across them, and then just a general series resistor. Quite a high values, but it, you know, it's just to, it doesn't require much current to make these light, light up. So if you stick it across uh, anything from about, probably about 100 volts upwards, this neon here is going to light, because the current is going to flow through these two resistors, and then, because it's exceeding about the 90 volts that's required to actually strike the neon, this neon will light and then it's got another resistor in series. So that's the first neon that will light. That will then, once it's struck, there'll be a voltage threshold of about 50 volts there. And then as the current increases through, the voltage across these other resistors will gradually rise. And if the voltage is high enough, um, and the current's high enough, then it reaches the 220 volt threshold, which will give about 100 volts across this neon, and it'll strike. And then the same again, add another 100 volts or so, and then this neon here lights, and it's very simple. It just means that with increasing voltage, more of the neons light, and as each neon lights, uh, some current flows through the resistor and some current flows through the neon. And you know, the, the layout in the circuit board seems pretty good. It seems, to, it's got this, safety feature that there's a good separation in this resistor. I will say that unlike the other leads that were two colour with an inner colour and an outer black sheath, this one doesn't have that which means that you're not going to get that indication if the, the sheath gets nicked uh, or damaged in the toolbox, you're not going to get that two colour thing showing through. So it's the electronics are implemented well and it it works, it's just that you know the channels that are, this is supposed to light through, I mean take a look at it you see the large areas that it's supposed to light through, and it would light through, if it wasn't for the fact that it's just obscured completely by large areas of plastic. It's just very odd. Um, other than that, you know, they would have been quite acceptable test lamps for basic, you know, DIY testing, but uh, but that kind of lets it down, this poor manufacturing. But there you go. Uh, interesting just to see the schematic inside and how the neons and resistors are connected, though.